Ruthie Camden from Seventh Heaven was the original youngest sibling on the popular TV show. And for over a decade, audiences watched actress Mackenzie Rosman grow up before their eyes. But with her Seventh Heaven days long behind her, you won't believe what she looks like now. Mackenzie Rosman will likely always be remembered as her super cute Seventh Heaven character, Ruthie Camden. Sometimes we have to remind ourselves that off screen she is her own person, and spoiler alert, she wasn't born in the fictional town of Glen Oak, California. Rosman was actually born in Charleston, South Carolina in 1989, and she spent the first two years of her life on the East Coast before moving to Los Angeles with her family. But while other kids might have been busy playing with dolls and blocks, Rosman was signed to a talent agency, prompted by her mother, which helped pave the way for the actress's successful TV career. The curly-haired cutie quickly landed several roles in commercials for everything from Hormel Chili Dogs to Nike. We're so proud of you. By the age of six, Rosman was already hard at work. She had two years of acting experience under her belt and was heading to an interview that would forever change her life. Yep, cue the seventh heaven casting. Well, I like Bean Blossom. Bean Blossom? What does that mean? The blossom of the bean. Now, most casting agents probably sit in on hundreds of auditions hearing the same line after line from candidates who just don't stand a chance. So when Rosmin brought a unique and personal approach to her audition, she put herself ahead of the pack. And let's be honest, her adorable looks probably had something to do with it. But Rosmin reportedly wowed casting by shaking everyone's hands before the audition and introducing herself to each person. And she was just six. It was that extra attention to detail that landed her the role on Seventh Heaven, on which she'd star for 11 years and 236 episodes. Clearly, first impressions are everything. We all remember our first crush, whether it was Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic or your next door neighbor growing up. That special someone left an imprint on your heart forever. You're still my best girl, Cora. In Rosman's case, she fell for a boy she met through work, the son of 7th Heaven executive producer Aaron Spelling. She told Maxim, I remember Mr. Spelling to be one of the kindest men I've ever come across, and when I was a little kid, I used to have a crush on his son Randy. Whenever we had rap parties, I always wanted to dance with him. I was probably like six, but I had lots of crushes on people when I was six. Randy Spelling, a former actor who starred on Beverly Hills 90210, once made a cameo in a Seventh Heaven episode, and we'd wager a guess that his appearance on set made young Rosman's day. Rosman was joined on the Seventh Heaven set by two older actresses you probably know well, Jessica Biel and Beverly Mitchell, as Mary and Lucy. Given how Rosman was a young child immersed in the world of Hollywood, it was only a matter of time before she was introduced to some high-profile drama. For Rosman, that drama went down when co-star Beale posed topless for the cover of Gear magazine in 2000. Well, these are real, by the way. Rosman told Maxim, I was probably nine at the time, but I remember that. It was a big deal. The magazine was banned on set, I think by orders of Aaron Spelling. I sneaked a peek at it, though. It was racy gossip amongst the women of Seventh Heaven. Rosman isn't the only one who had something to say regarding the risque photo shoot. Stephen Collins, who played Eric Camden on the show, who faced a much bigger scandal of his own years later, expressed his disapproval of the shoot, according to New York Daily News. I'm not as cute as I used to be. Yeah, I'm downright pretty. As Rosmin entered her teens, she traded her signature curly do for straight locks. And while Rosmin's appearance matured, her character Ruthie began to experience the more serious issues that being a teenager can bring. Ruthie's problems began small, like not knowing the words to the Star Spangled Banner in season one, and grew much larger. But so proudly we... Mm, I can't say that word, it's a bad word. By season 10, she was getting her heart crushed by Martin. In an interview with TV Guide, Rosman described growing up on the small screen as, quote, pretty trippy and noted, I've been used to having to do stuff that I've never done in real life. I don't mind it at all, really. I just do it. It's 10 in the morning. It's too early for that. I didn't realize there was a schedule. Well, there is. Rosman also revealed that when she's faced with performing love scenes, her nerves come into play. She admitted she feels the jitters, adding, But not as much as some people think I would, because I have to do it. It's kind of neat that I get fun storylines now. Rosman confessed that she and her Seventh Heaven character Ruthie actually had a lot in common. 
She told TV Guide, We're both kind of the same, a little bit But that's not all the two have in common. They both share a love of horses. Rosman's personal Instagram is filled with photos of horseback riding and equestrian competitions, proving her passion for the sport. Best day of your life? I fell off Ed. Are you hurt? I thought I was, but then I just got back in the saddle. In April 2019, she shared an Instagram with the caption, getting geared up for the Elkridge Harford point to point this weekend. Her official fan site even mentioned in January 2019 that she was busy with jockey training for upcoming steeplechasing events. For the petite brunette who is under 5 feet tall, according to Maxim, her size is perfect for jockeying. Rosmin grew up with her brother Chandler and stepsister Caitlin Salmont. Unfortunately, Salmont was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at the age of two, according to TV Guide. Rosmin then took it upon herself to spread awareness about the disease, and she even approached Seventh Heaven executive producer Brenda Hampton about doing an episode on the disorder, featuring Salmont. I'm Caitlin. What's the problem? I fell off, okay? Poor horse. Ed must feel terrible. Rosman's idea made it into an episode in 2003 and featured Salmont as a girl who befriends Ruthie and has the disease. Caitlin seemed fine, but I called today to say thanks, and her mom told me she had something called CF. Sadly, Salmont passed away from pneumonia related to cystic fibrosis at the age of 22 in 2008. Rosman remembered her late sister in an Instagram post on National Siblings Day, writing, quote, Miss and love you, Caitlin. Rosman continued on with her acting career after Seventh Heaven, but none of her projects were as successful as the award-winning family drama. In 2010, the actress starred in four episodes of The Secret Life of the American Teenager, working with many of the same crew as she did on Seventh Heaven. So I was just wondering if maybe that little incident resulted in an unwanted... Ah! Don't say another word. Rosman then starred in the sci-fi original movie Ghost Shark, which was expected to be a contender for the next Sharknado, but currently sits with a 21% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Since then, Rosman appears to have taken a break from acting, and judging by her Instagram pics, she seems to be happy hanging with dogs, riding horses, and fishing. This is Mackenzie Rosman, and you're behind the scenes with my Maxim ship. One of the most talked about moments in Rosman's career was when she posed for Maxim in 2013. The spread proved Rosman was no longer a TV reverend sweet little daughter, but a woman who was all grown up. Rosman tweeted following the shoot, I caved, just wrapped a Maxim photo shoot. Fans went absolutely crazy to say the least. Some social media users felt old seeing Rosman as an adult woman. Others presumably felt guilty seeing her in revealing clothes. And some were just downright shaken by Rosman's decision to do the shoot at all. One fan tweeted, Mackenzie Rosman, the girl who played Ruthie on 7th Heaven, is now posing for Maxim. A bit of my childhood just died inside. Rosman supported the non-profit organization To Write Love on Her Arms by attending an event in 2010 that supported advocacy towards mental well-being. During an interview with Shine On Media, she admitted she has faced depression and anxiety herself, saying, It's been a struggle for me as well, and I just think it's important to raise awareness about it and help people because you need help. She claimed she had spent a year battling depression, revealing that her condition grew to be so bad that she didn't even want to leave the house. Although Rosman reported to be doing better, she said she still was coping with anxiety. Sometimes it's hard to believe that child stars, like real people, grow up and partake in adult activities, like drinking alcohol. But Rosman is well over the legal drinking age these days. During her interview with Maxim, she talked about boozing and was asked if she knew of a Seventh Heaven drinking game. She suggested, No, but I would like to see one. You could drink whenever Ruthie rolls her eyes or when Lucy squeals. This actress is no stranger to unadulterated fun, describing her appreciation for intimate settings as opposed to busy hangouts. She added, I like going out, I just don't see anything logical about waiting in line to be locked in a room that has too many people in it and no place to sit down, and somebody just turned the volume up on the music really loud and they are charging you double for your drink, and you get the idea. When you've worked with the same people for 11 years, professional connections often become real friendships. Rosman told Us Weekly that it's hard to plan a meetup that works with everyone's schedule because most of the cast lives in different parts of the country. Unfortunately, Rosman was not in attendance for the 2014 Seventh Heaven reunion. She later told Us Weekly, 
I was so bummed to have missed the last dinner. They planned it and I had a trip to the East Coast planned and at the last minute it moved and I was on a flight 12 hours before that. Rosmin deeply expressed how much she missed the Seventh Heaven family, including everyone who worked hard behind the scenes. The strong bond that Seventh Heaven's Ruthie, Lucy and Mary Camden have on screen has stretched beyond the camera and into the actresses' personal lives. Rosman, Beale and Mitchell have stayed in touch throughout the years and have supported each other like sisters. Mac! She was six when she started the show. She was my little love bug. And this one, she was super fun on set. Their friendship was first revealed at Beverly Mitchell's 2008 wedding, in which Rosman and Beale were two of her bridesmaids, according to Just Jared. Then in 2016, Mitchell and Rosman were at the opening of Beale's former restaurant, O oh Fudge. In 2017, the three women met for dinner to catch up, and Mitchell was apparently moved by their long lasting friendship. She posted about their strong connection on her blog, Growing Up Hollywood, writing, I love these two beyond words, and have to say that after a few hours together today, my heart is full. Previously, Rosman had mentioned to Us Weekly in 2015 that she's met Mitchell's oldest daughter, Kenzie Lynn, and was flattered that Mitchell took part of her name for her child. Rosman and Mitchell reunited once again over cocktails in 2018 and snapped a sweet photo wearing best friend shirts. Clearly, the trio's friendship is just like heaven. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.